is up everybody and welcome to this video in this video we will be talking and creating about um, artificial neural network with help of tensorflow and keras and we will be using the data set of mnist which is um, pre available in the data sets of tensorflow so this is the overview what in the end of this video we will be creating this is really interesting this is the basic basic project for any artificial neural network or neural network beginner so let's get started all right so for this purpose we require few libraries like tensorflow cv2 numpy and matplotlib.py plot as plt we will be using a data set and is by running this line tf.keras.dataset.mnist and this is the basic uh, model I have ever done because you don't even need to pre-process your data it is already done for you by the Keras and over in this line we are uh, splitting our data to x train y train x test and y test why this okay x train to train our model and x test to test our model to test the accuracy of our model actual accuracy which this data will be unseen to the model what we are doing over here we are normalizing the values so let me show you what actually that this line is doing as you can see um, up to here this creates x test x train y test and y train let's have a look at x test you can see the values will range from 0 to 255 as uh, here you can see the value is max 254 and uh, the max value will be range from 0 to 255 which is not good for our cpu so we will be def uh, defining these lines so that our values range from 0 to 1 you can see if I run this line then um, the value will be in float format and it will range from from 0 to 1 so that is it up to here nothing too fancy is going on just simple steps which we do for every for every neural network what is happening over here okay we are reshaping our data why we are doing that for c and n you should know our input shape is comprises of patch size and uh, height of the image and width of the image and the color channel whether it is black and white then it will be one if that is colored then it will be three so for c and n uh, input shape is batch size the number of samples we are passing for training or testing height and width and uh, the color channel okay so up to here you should ask a question that uh, x train is reshaped to x train dot shape um, zeroth position and uh, minus one what actually is going on over here actually over here we are not building a CNN model we are making artificial neural network and you should know artificial neural network has input shape um, for ANN input shape is batch size batch size into the number of features now what are the number of features for this model for this model number of features will be um, let me comment this line for this model or for any model when we are converting CNN to ANN by using the flatten what that flatten layer do it flattens the data it multiplies width into the height of that image so the features will every single pixel will be the feature for that particular image now let's look at this line x train dot shape 0 
as I mentioned, we require batch size, common number of features, and we have 60,000. If we uh, run extend or shape line command, then you will get 60,000 of batch size. So it will be extend or shape. We require first position from this tuple, so it will contain the batch size. And what minus one is doing? Minus one. Okay, let me. Uh, take this line and run this over here so that you can actually see what this line is doing because this is the most important line okay extrain dot reshape okay wait a second okay uh, i'm sorry guys so i was a bit confused over there so this line reshapes the data and this shows to the user what we have to do we have to write extend dot reshape same line dot shape to see what is the new shape for our model for our extreme and this will be 60,000 which I told you earlier best size and 28 into 28 minus 1 is saying pass on the multiplied of height and width that is it you just think of think of this like this okay what X test is doing same is happening for x test let's run this line wait okay okay uh, sorry guys my recording stopped because i pressed f9 so what x test is doing x when we run these lines then it converts to the shape of this which have um it should have 784 columns this should be so many and 60,000 samples let's go further i should write here a n n because we are creating a n n so this whole line is for creating the a n n here we are importing the sequential model dense to create the layers and drop out to to overcome the overfitting problem here we created an instance of sequential class by using model equals to sequential and we added a layer of dense which has 128 neurons and activation is ReLU and we added dropout of 0.2 now you should have dropout range from 0 to 1 1 means you want to drop all the neurons 0 means you want to drop not any neuron 0.2 is the best choice for this model at least okay so here we created a single layer then we created one more layer of um, neurons hidden layer then we added the output layer why we are using 10 over here because we have 10 possible output values which will have which will range from um, 0 to uh, sorry 0 to 9 it could have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or 0, 7, 8, 9. That's it. And nothing fancy over here. Why we are using softmax function? Uh, sorry, softmax activation function. Why we are not using sigmoid? Because over here we have more than one output layer. If we would have single output layer, we will be using sigmoid softmax, softmax converts to the probability to each neuron so that we could we could make prediction uh, so that seeing the output we could know that which is higher and which is lower probability and uh, we are compiling our model with Adam optimizer and loss function is sparse categorical cross entropy and the categorical because there are many categories available more than one category and matrix is accuracy for seeing what is going on now over here we are fitting our fitting our model on x train y train we are using three epochs best size of 12 and validation split to validate our data training data here we are making the prediction and plotting it to the graph and we are using 255th image on which x label shows the actual value 
y level shows the predicted value let me do one thing first fit this model um let me fit this model up to here okay so the training should start until the training is starting we have covered up to here we have saved the model in case you want to use it to a raspberry pi or any other stuff over here we are using the cv2 to capture our camera and capture the image from that camera then cropping the image by using numpy slices as this will be the array we are using slices to crop the image by just writing re by just using the region of interest and we are converting this to gray then we are converting this to threshold so that uh, it would have just two values either 0 or 1 then we are showing it to the user to see what is actually going on then we are resizing our image to um, 28 by 28 as we know our input samples are 28 by 28 image then we again reshaped here we resized our image here we are reshaping our array and as you notice this will be the best size because we are passing just single image and this will be the uh, height into the width which is 28 by 28 uh, over here we are using np.argmax to calculate the uh, highest value highest values index that is it and we are showing it to the user by using put text on the im show window and if the user press the enter key then it will get out of that um, loop this loop and it will gonna release the camera destroy all windows and that is it here we are showing the image which is not so necessary over here our model has been trained and let's make the prediction okay so the prediction has been made and on the x-axis it shows actual value was 7 and predicted value is 7 let's try anything else run this So actual value was 9, predicted value was 9 and that is it, our model has been trained with pretty good accuracy of 97% validation accuracy. Let's come to the most exciting part which is trying and predicting. We are doing this thing in these lines okay you can see sometimes our model do not predicts well accurately so you have to make those sacrifices okay so over here let's start from this loop this loop is same as that loop and here it says while true show the image and if user press escape key then break from this loop and destroy all windows now what it is showing it is showing IMG and where is IMG? IMG is over here and it is the blank image of 512 by 512 and just single color channel. We are creating, we are using an NumPy to create this blank image. What these variables are doing? We will talk about them further in the video. Now let's go to these two lines. First of all, our program will jump to here. It will gonna see the window image, show it to the user. Then it will gonna connect these two lines to this line using this image. So this should be same for all three. It says named window and it says set mouse callback and uh, if any if any activity of mouse is shown in this image then it will gonna pass to draw function where is the draw function draw function is right here this function is the backbone of drawing okay 
here we are creating global instances of these global variables and okay so when this set mouse callback calls this function this passes some arguments which are event xy position of the mouse and some more parameters now if the event is left button down um let me actually show you what is going on okay it says if the event if the event is left mouse button down then put the ix and iy equal to the current position of the mouse if i start from here then it will gonna this will be the start position for ix and iy this will be passed to these variables and it will gonna turn the run to two then if my l button down is not happening and my mouse is moving then if the run is true then it will be drawing a circle which will have radius at i at x and y means current position of mouse and uh, sorry uh, it will have center at x and y position radius of 20 color of white and thickness of minus 1 means it will fill this up and if my mouse stopped moving like um, this is the my, my current ix iy position now my mouse is moving so so my mouse is moving it will be drawing the circle now if my mouse stopped moving and i took its left button up then it will be turning run to false drawing the circle at the last position where i have stopped my mouse and converting um, and converting that image img which is used oh, everywhere and converting that image resizing that image to 28 by 28 and reshaping that image now over here we don't need to convert this to gray because it is already a gray image reshaping the image to make it fitable to the our model then predicting model dot by model dot predict then putting it to the top of the window as you can see over here what is this doing now if i predicted once I created one more time then it will gonna create follow plus 25 which will put the text below it and if I press the R button down it will be taking my image to blank and uh, resetting the value of follow and that is it pretty much this for this video if you guys enjoyed this video then please like this video this helps me a lot subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos like this and code to this will be in the down the description of github repository you can always go there and check my code and that is it thank you for watching this video